welcome everyone back to the fabrication shop. Today we're going to be attaching our fins to our Olympus payload model. We've got everything on our workbench that we need in order to do this. We have a fin alignment guide. We have our fin subassemblies ready to go. We have the adapter for the engine mount and of course we have some glue. So with that, let's get started. Okay, before we actually get started putting the fins on the rocket, there's a couple different ways that you can go about doing this. In this video, we're going to show you how to use a fin alignment guide. This particular one comes from Estes. You can do three fins or four fins, and you can do either one eighth inch thick fins, or you can do three thirty second inch thick fins. The other way that you can do the fins and make sure that they're aligned properly is using the tube marking guide. Here you can see what the marking guide looks like. It's part of your instruction sheet. And this is actually what they show you in the instruction sheet. You would cut out the tube marking guide, wrap it around the body tube, use tape to hold the two ends together, mark where the fins are located at, and then simply draw a line down the length of the body tube. We like using the fin alignment guide because it allows us to do the construction quicker and it's also more accurate. If you use the tube marking guide, you may find that it's sometimes a little, just, just a shade too short or a shade too long. And the result is that your fins don't perfectly align. You don't have to worry about that with the tube alignment guide. There are a number of options that you can 3D print so you don't have to go out and purchase a fin alignment guide. Let's move on. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna take our body tube the motor mount has been installed and we're going to take this adapter and slide it inside the motor mount tube. And you notice it's a little bit tight and that's the way you want it. This will then slide over top of the center part of the adapter guide. And now we'll push these little pieces up and we want to make sure that our rocket is perfectly vertical and once we have that lined up when we attach our fins we're going to do it in a very similar fashion to how we attach the dorsal fin to the main fin so we're going to take our glue Run it along the root edge of the fin. These fins, according to the instruction sheet, the bottom of the fin aligns to the bottom of the tube. So you simply bring it up. Press it against the body tube. Now we'll pull it away. We'll give it a few seconds to tack up. After that, we come back. And again, you want to line this with the bottom of the body tube. Now we'll take our clip and it's the curved side that goes towards the fin. And that's all there is to putting your fins on when you use a fin alignment guide. It's going to keep them evenly spaced. It's going to hold them in place until the glue dries. You don't have to worry about the fin flopping over while it's drying or anything like that. You do need to make sure whether you're using a fin alignment guide or any other type of method that 
your edge is flat so that when you put it up against the body tube of the rocket, there's no gaps. So with that, we'll go ahead and attach the rest of the fins. Okay, so we have all four of our fins in place. We'll let the glue dry, and then once that has dried, we'll come back and we'll remove the rocket from the fin alignment guide. All right, we've given our fins time enough to dry, so now it's time to take it off the alignment guide. So we'll simply remove the clips. And now we'll go ahead, gently twist the rocket and bring it off the guide. And we can take our adapter out. And now you can see we have all four fins securely attached to the rocket. They're evenly spaced and they're nice and straight. So the next thing we need to do is apply fillets. This is gonna strengthen the fin and it's also gonna give us a nice clean edge where the fins meet the body tube. So to do that, we're simply gonna take our glue and we'll run a bead down. And then we'll take our finger and simply come on down. Now, as you can see, this one's got a little bit of a gap up by the dorsal fin. Just put a little extra glue there. And if you wet your finger a little bit, that will also help get you a nice, nice smooth edge on your fillet. And once you have the one done, we'll go ahead and do the other side. This way, you can do two at once. So at this point, we're simply going to go ahead and let this dry. You want to try to have the model sitting as level as you can. In this case, we're going to go ahead and use the alignment guide to keep our model rocket fairly level. That way the glue doesn't drip down to one end or the other. We'll let this dry and then once it dries, we'll rotate it around and we'll do the other sets off camera. Okay, so as you can see, We've got all our fillets in. Everything's looking really good at this point. Rocket is starting to come together, really starting to look like a model rocket now. So that completes this episode. When we come back in our next episode, we'll be looking at adding in the shock cord mount and the launch lug. So until next time, take care.